Hello and welcome back. We are almost finished with implementing the functionalities of our real-time chat application. However, over past few lectures, we have introduced some bugs in our application. And in this lecture, we are going to fix those bugs. So let's see what are these bugs and how we can fix them. Let's go to our application. And here we are in our real-time chat application. And from here, John Smith is logged. Now, one of the issues which we are facing from a long time is if I select multiple chats like this and then if I go ahead and if I send a message, let's say hi, you will see that that message has been sent multiple times and this is because multiple event listeners has been added for receive message event. So if we go to our application, there I am in the chat area component. If I scroll up, here we are handling this receive message event and this event listener will be added on this receive message event whenever the selected chat changes. So if the selected chat has changed four times, that means this event listener will be added four times. To avoid that, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this off method and there we will specify which event listener we want to remove. Here, we want to remove any existing event listener, which we have already added for this receive message event. So if there is already an event listener added for this receive message event, first we want to remove it and then we are going to add it. In this way, there will be only one event listener added. Let me save the changes. Let's go to our application. And now, even though I select multiple chats here, if I send a message, it should be sent only once. As you see, now it is getting sent only once. So this is working as expected. Now, what it has done is it has created another issue because of this. And that is, let me go here. Let me select this chat. And let's go to Edge from where Mary Jane is logged. And from here, I'm going to send a message. Hi, John. If I send this message, we should see an unread message count from Mary Jane. Okay, so this is working as expected. Let me send another message. It has sent that message. And here the unread message count is 2. Okay, so this is also working as expected. But here we will have one problem. Let me refresh the page here. Let me select Mark Watt chat. And let me also refresh the page here. And now let's send a message. Let's say hi. So message has been sent. But we are not seeing the unread message count for Mary Jane. Now why is that? That's because we are also listening to this receive message event in our user list component here. So what it has done is when we are removing this event listener using this off method, if there is any event listener added from here, that will also get removed. And because of that, we are not seeing the unread message counts after we have refreshed the page. So to resolve this issue, what I am going to do is Here we have this send message event, which we are handling. And whenever a new message comes, what we are doing is we are emitting this receive message event. In the same way, I'm going to emit another event. So the data will be same for this event. It will be the message data. But this time I want to call this event something else. Maybe let's call it set message count. Okay, and now we are going to listen to this event from our user list component. So from here, we are going to listen to that event. And here also, what we are going to do is we are going to use this off method. So if there is already any event added, first we want to remove that event listener and then we want to add the event listener. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to our application. Let me refresh the page. Now you can see that we have an unread message count, but this is coming from database. Let me select another chat here. Let's go here. Let me refresh the page. 
and from Mary I am going to send a new message to John let's say how are you let's send this message and now if I go to Chrome you can see that now we have an unread message count so this issue is also resolved now we have another issue if you see Mary is logged here all right so she should be showing online here but she is not but if I refresh the page now she is showing online but this should be happening in real time if I go ahead and if I log out Mary then it should immediately show that so Mary is logged out so she is not showing online that is working as expected but if Mary logs in so now Mary should be online but if I go to Chrome Mary is not showing online so this is another issue and we are going to fix this issue as well for that what we are going to do is here we are listening to online users event so this use effect will be called every time the user changes but what we also want is we want to execute this use effect callback function whenever the online user changes okay let me save the changes let's go to our application now and now Mary is showing online here let's go to edge so Mary is online now let me log out Mary so you will see that Mary is offline now let's go back and let's log in Mary again so now Mary is logged in so she is online and now if I go to Chrome you will see that it is immediately showing her online without refreshing the page so this is another bug which I wanted to fix if I go ahead and if I log out Mary now it should immediately show her offline another issue which I have noticed is let's say I select this Steve Smith chat let's open this window also okay and let's select John Smith account here and now Mary is going to send a message to John so in this case if Mary's chat is selected then only it should show the typing indicator it should not show the typing indicator if Steve Smith chat is selected here Mary is going to send a message to John not to Steve Smith but if I try typing something here okay it is not showing the typing indicator here let's go to Mary's account and if I type something here so in this case it is showing the typing indicator but if I select some other account let me type something you see here also it is showing that typing indicator so this also I want to fix let's go back to VS code and we are showing the typing indicator in the chat area so basically what we are doing is we are handling this started typing event which is happening on the server so whenever this started typing event happens on the server we are handling it on the client and with that event we are also receiving some event data so what I am going to do is I am going to create a new state here so let me copy this line let's paste it here and let me call it as data and here let's call it set data and initially I will set this data with null and now I am going to update that data using this set data so inside this function the first thing which I am going to do is I am going to set the data variable with the value which we have received in this data parameter okay and now let's scroll down and what do we want to do here is where are we showing the typing indicator here so here if is typing is true and also if the selected chat if it's members so in the members array we are going to have the user objects but we are only interested in their IDs so I'm going to use this map function so this is going to give us a new array only with user IDs okay and in there I also want to check if it includes the sender ID so that we have in data dot sender 
and initially this data will be null so let me also use a question mark here okay and the selected chat will also be null so let's use a question mark here as well and with this let's save the changes and let's try if it has fixed the issue or not basically i'm checking if the selected chat if its members array contains the id of the sender of the message then only we want to show the typing indicator so let's go ahead and let's test it so you see steve smith account is selected here and here mary jane is going to send a message to john if i start typing something it should not show that indicator here as you can see so it is not showing that indicator but if i select mary jane's account there if i start typing something it should showing it should be showing that typing indicator as you can see okay so this issue is also fixed so these are the few bugs which i wanted to fix in this lecture and with this now we are ready to deploy our application to production and that we are going to do in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day